Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another Saint Valentine's tutorial this time for fringe heart earrings consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't also liking, sharing and commenting in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials like this one check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials and you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using for this video are three colors of 11 oz beads white red and golden and i'm also using eight of beads in golden color these are earring findings in golden as well this is nail bones nylon thread you could use nymo or other brand of beading thread for this work but uh, it's a better idea to use nylon thread because when we make fringes they look really better with this type of thread uh, this is size 11 beading needle you could use size 10 or 12 but the smaller sizes are easier to work with and these are scissors and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle or you could take a comfortable length of thread and we will start and later i will show you how to add more thread okay my friends and i'm starting my work with one white and one red bead i'm going to slide those down leave a small tail here at the end and as i'm exiting through one of those i'm going through the other one okay now i have them next to each other with the holes pointing in one direction and side to side touching then i go in the red one take another red go backwards like this i have another bead arranged in the same way side to side touching with the other one and next to it take another go backwards like this and again through this one okay I'll show you one more time a red go backwards you see here I have a loop between those two red beads pull and go back again through the newly added one okay and now guys what I want to do is to add 11 red beads in total okay i will add 11 of them and when i'm ready i'll be back okay my friends and i here i have 11 red beads and now i need to add one more white so let's resume what we have up to here we have one white 11 reds and one white bead okay and now my friends i'm ready to start my next row and in order to start it i will flip like this i want to be exiting out of this last white bead in this direction and i'm going to start the next row with one white and one red bead and because the next row will consist of less beads than the previous one when I take them, I want to continue with the familiar brick stitch. If you don't know it, don't worry because I'm showing it step by step. And because I'm decreasing, I will go uh, here under the second thread bridge. You see these thread bridges that I have between my beads. This is the first one between the white and the red. And this is the second one between the, the first thread and the second thread. And because I decrease, I'm going under this second thread bridge that I have here okay I went under it and then I'm going through the red bead so I have them both like this and I'm going to continue adding one by one red, red beads under 
each next thread bridge you see here. The next thread bridge I'm going under it and after that I go through the red beads that I just added and pull. I'll show you again. Take one, go under the next thread bridge that is on my way, pull and again through the bead that I just added. Another red, next thread bridge and go like this. Okay? And I will continue this guys until I have 10 red beads in total. Here I already have 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 6 more and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding the 10th red bead from this row. And then I need to add another white in order to finish this row. Okay, like this. And then absolutely the same thing. Go back through this white that you have. And then I'm going to take a white and a red bead. And again, because I decrease, I'm going under the second thread bridge here between the first and the second thread one and then I go back like this then I'm going to add three more red ones After that, a white one. And then four red and one white. Then I take a white and a red again and absolutely the same thing. Go under the second thread bridge. In this work I will always go under the second thread bridge. Then two more reds and two whites after them. And then three reds, one white. And then three reds and one white. Okay, my friends, and the next row will consist of only white beads. Take two whites, go under the second thread bridge, then go back like this. And continue one by one, adding white beads until the end. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. And as I continue, now I have nine beads in total in this row. And again, I'm going to do another row with only white beads. I'm going under the second thread bridge. Going like this. And by the way, you could reinforce those beads if you want them to stay in a better shape. Okay. 
then another one and I'm going to finish this row and I'll be back okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row here you should have eight white beads okay then I'm zigzagging like this through my work and I want to take three golden beads my earring finding and three golden beads and as I'm exiting through the third white counting from here one two three I want to go in the third one counting from here one two three Okay, here is where I go. Then I want to reinforce this work one more time. And here I will use my pliers to go through some of the beads. I'm making here some thread repositioning and I want to go here at this side now I'm next to the tail thread that I have and what I want to do is to make something like a knot here and I want to cut this tail thread and here you could burn it with a zipper you see because a little bit of thread is showing you could cut it closer or burn it with a zipper okay now the top part of my earring is ready and I will continue with the fringes and what I'm going to take on my needle guys are 10 white beads one golden, one white, one golden, one white, and one eight of golden. So this is for my first fringe. And I'm going to slide this down. Now what I want to do is to skip the last bead here. And I'm going through all of those beads like this. and now I have my first fringe ready then I'm going here in the next red bead and if it's difficult for you to go through these to some of the beads some of them might be with smaller holes than the others use your pliers okay now here I will take a long sequence for my next fringe and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I'm taking for my next fringe are four red beads, eight white beads, then a golden, a white, a golden, a white, and a NATO golden. And by the way, from here on, this part from the white here will be the same and I will be changing only the number of the red beads before it. I will increase it with Four. so here I have four in my next step I will have eight plus this sequence then 12 plus this sequence and I will show you what I have then ok 
okay this is a difficult bit here that I added by accident with a really small hole but hopefully the others will be okay and now I'm in a position to add my next fringe I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay and as I said guys in this step I'm taking eight red beads and the familiar sequence which is eight white one golden one white one golden one white and one golden eight off okay sliding this one as well going through all of those and exiting out of the next bit okay then take another sequence which is almost the same you just add four more red beads in the beginning so here you have eight so you need 12 plus four and the same sequence here okay and as i said 12 red the same sequence go back and arrange it for the next fringe okay and this is the next fringe 16 red beads plus the familiar sequence i'm adding all the time 16 red beads plus the familiar sequence i'm adding all the time okay i'll go back and uh, stay in a position for my next fringe okay guys and now i have 20 red beads and the same sequence that I'm adding all the time and you see written on your screens okay I'll go back through this and because my thread is almost over I will show you how to add more thread okay now my thread is not enough to make another fringe that is why I'm going to make here a loop I'm going twice through the loop I've made I'm pulling then I'm going through some beads in this direction and I'm cutting this tail thread okay then I'm going to take another long thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and I have a new long thread on my needle and I want to add it to my work and how I do this, I go here through some bit make here a loop go once or twice through the loop you've made and then what I want to do is go here in the middle red bead of my work now I'm going to cut this tail thread okay my friends this is the back of my earring some thread is showing you could uh, fix it later by pushing it to the inside or burning with a zipper if, if something is sticking but uh, this is the front part of your earring so it won't be visible at the back and now I'm going to take another long sequence and I'll be back okay my friends and I'm taking 24 red beads and the familiar sequence that I'm adding all the time and this is the longest fringe in my work okay then I'll skip this one I'll go back through all of those beads and exit in the next bead in a position to start my next fringe and I'll be back okay my friends and I'm exiting here and now what I'm going to do is repeat those fringes that I have here uh, and how I do this first I make this one here 
So it is with 20 red beads plus the familiar sequence. Then I make this one at the next bead, uh, which is 16 beads plus the familiar sequence and so on and so on. I watch from this the other way around. I make them here and I'll be back. And here I am guys, where I'm just adding my last fringe from this work. You see, I mirror this part here and everything works just fine. Okay, and now the last thing I need to do is to make here a loop. Go twice through the loop I've made, pull. Go through some beads in this direction. And if it's difficult for you, use your pliers to do this. And then cut your thread. And now my fringe St. Valentine's Day earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my St. Valentine's Day fringe heart earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment. In this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the St. Valentine's playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.